Hi, boys and girls, Miss McDonough here. I am doing this week the lesson for grades three through five. That's right, so grades three through five. And I don't know if all of you know this, but this Sunday is Mother's Day. So I'm doing a special lesson so that you guys can do it for a card for that special woman in your life. It might be your mom, it might be your grandmother, it may be a stepmom, it might be an aunt, it might be a sibling, an older sibling. So whichever way you want, whoever it is that is special in your life, that woman that does everything for you and takes care of you, um, this is who this is for, okay? So I leave it up to you guys. Now when you're finished, you're going to take a picture of it and send it to me and Miss Fitz. Don't forget that, okay? So we can give you a grade because uh, we want you to give it to that person, but you have to show it to us first so that we can grade you, okay? Um, so now what we are doing is, I don't know, some of you know that I love to do old pickup trucks. Well, this is like an old pickup truck, but it's the back of a truck and it's filled with flowers. It's a really cool lesson and it's really not hard, okay? And even if it was, you can do hard things. So, and, and don't tell me you can't because I've seen you all do it. So we are going to do this together, okay? I'm gonna do a step-by-step -step, and then we will post it and there will be a step-by-step -step paper that you could print out and look at if you need to, or you can just look at your computer screen. Either way, you're gonna have it all taken care of. Okay, so let's get started. Excuse me while I turn my phone so that we can um, do this together, okay? Okay, hopefully you can see everything here. Let's see if I need to move this up a little. There we go. All right, so this is a sample that I did. Now, if you notice, I did it on a half of a piece of paper, see? It's a half a piece of paper because I wanted to make sure it was going to fit so that you could make it into a card. So I'm gonna show you how to fold the paper, okay? Now, if you need to cut it in half first, and then you could always glue it to um, a piece of paper folded, that's fine, okay? However you wanna do it. Now, use whatever you have. If you have, um, you will need either a pencil or a, um, or a crayon to do this part, okay? This is the step-by-step. -step. That's what you're gonna see on our website after. Um, but you will need either a pencil or a crayon, if you have oil pastel, that works too, but they're kind of messy. Um, so I just used a regular pencil, to be honest. That's all I use, just a regular pencil, just like this. Okay, so because I have the full sheet, all right, I folded it in half, just like, like a book, right? And then I'm gonna fold it in half again, and you'll see why in a minute, okay? So I'm folding it in half right to where I had that crease here, okay? So you can see that, it lifts up. Just fold it back down, okay? Leave this part blank. This is where you're gonna put your message to your mom or to whoever it is you wanna give this card to, okay? That's where you're gonna put your message. So we're gonna start over here and we're gonna, see I got my crease right here, my fold. So we're gonna start, I'm gonna start it right about here. And I'm going to make a horizontal line and then come right around here and do this. Now I have a rectangle there, right? Wow, that was hard, huh? No, that wasn't hard. Okay, so now I'm going to make another, like a rectangle here, but I'm making my ends just a little bit rounded there. And then I'm going to come up from here and do another one, okay, just like that. So. It, Kind of looks like it's all one thing, right? Okay. So I'm going to put some circles here. Now, make sure if you're using a pencil, you want to press down. You want to make sure you got a good amount of lead on here, okay? Then I'm going to bring this here. Just do a horizontal line here. Remember, horizontal is across. 
It's what you do when you're sleeping. And then here is another horizontal line, but I'm not going all the way. I'm going to stop and then I'm going to come down and make a vertical line. That's what you do when you're standing up. And then another horizontal line right here. Okay, you see that? Now, um, I have my two tail lights. I have a fender, right? And then I have my um, the, the back of the truck. The truck bed is right, the back of it's right here. And this is a tire, and you can go ahead and put a zigzag line here for your tire. Now, the hardest part of this is what I'm going to do right now. And it is to draw, you're gonna think I'm silly, but it's to draw a diagonal line. Remember diagonal? Okay, like that. That's all it is, a diagonal line. Don't go out this way, it's going in this way. Okay, you have to make sure it's going toward the crease. All right, and then you're going to come up here, go around, and then right to the crease there. Okay, now I'm going to do another horizontal line here, come around and make a vertical, go back, horizontal, right there. Now I have my window and I have my truck. Now my mine is a little bit, um, yeah, there, should be a little bit straighter over that way. Okay, now the back of our truck bed is going to be full of flowers. You can do those now, or you can do them when we finish the whole truck, it's up to you. But all I'm gonna do is make little spirals. So I'm not like gonna draw out each flower. I'm gonna draw just like little spirals because the whole truck bed is full of them. Just think of it that way. The whole truck bed is full of them. Like you really can't even see the bottom of the truck bed because it's full of flowers. Okay, and then I got, so I put spirals and now I'm going to put leaves. Okay, I'm just gonna draw some leaves in here, just randomly kind of throughout, you know, have some leaves that can be hanging off the back, it's okay, All right? Up to the front, just some leaves, because you can't really tell exactly what kind of flowers they are because they're, there's bunches of them and they're in the back of the truck bed. Now, the one thing we are missing though is the mirror. So we're gonna put two little, horizontal lines and then we're going to put a rectangle over here like a rectangle but I'm going to do rounded um, edges here and so then I'm going to put the rectangle inside also so that's the mirror right there okay so we've got the truck almost done but you're like Miss McDonough this is half a truck what's the matter with you well, I'm gonna show you how to do the rest of the truck and it's gonna be really, really easy. Some of you have done this before with a, when we did the front of a pickup truck. We're gonna fold it back. Okay, so you open it up, you got a half a truck, fold it back the other way. Okay, just like that. Then you're gonna take something hard. It can be anything, it could be a penny, it could be a pencil, it, whatever, just something hard and you're going to rub it because the, the um, lead from the pencil will come out on the other side of the paper, okay? So that's what we're doing. We're just rubbing it onto the other side of the paper. Then you're just going to trace over it with your pencil, okay? Let's see here. Now, see, you can see, I can see all the parts of the truck, and I'm just gonna trace over them with my pencil, just right across that crease that we had over there, right in here, come right down. Here's my line for my truck here for my bed. Here is the back end of the truck. See, I'm just doing my lines, and I'm just tracing over. So, and then I'm going to put circles here. I'm sorry, that's my dog, and apparently there must be somebody out there, so he's uh, getting excited while I'm tracing over this. So um, I apologize, boys and girls, for all the noise he's making. 
So don't forget about your zigzag line over here, okay? And then your flowers again. Oh, don't forget about the mirror. All right, got to trace back over that so you can get your mirror. Okay. And <clears throat> you're going to put your your um, spirals over here. Remember I had some leaves over here and some spirals. You just, just fill it up with the little spirals, you know, because those are the flowers. Now, if you want to and you want to come in and, and like put tulips in here or something, you could you can do that. You could just fill it with tulips if you want to. Um, it's up to you. Or you can just use those spirals, like I said, the little spirals. and and then just put your leaves all in different places, okay? So, <clears throat> so remember, this is a truck bed filled with flowers, all right? And you're not even gonna be able to see the back of the truck bed <clears throat> because it's full of flowers. And when you do your coloring, you want to color these all different, all different colors, right? Just to, to bring it out. So now look, now you've got a truck on the front of your card and you can make your background any way you want to. Now I put on here, um, happy Mother's Day. Okay, just like that. And then over here, I put a license plate on mine. You can put a license plate and put mom, right? And inside something like, um, oh, I don't know, bringing you, bringing you a truck load of love, how about that, okay? And then tell them how thankful you are and how much you appreciate them. And then you're going to color this in, boys and girls. Um, I colored, you know, use the flowers, do them different colors, and you could put some lines over here like this on the window and some squiggly lines over here on the mirror okay to make it look more like it's glass you know um and color it color it make it beautiful put your scenery however you want to do it okay um so boys and girls i hope you have fun with this uh you are all talented just take your time do a good job don't forget to send us a picture of it when you're done and i know that that special someone in your life is going to love it so i will um Talk to you guys again soon and bye for now.